I'm here at the New York Auto Show um, with Barry Walkup from General Motors, um, and we're here to talk about Cadillac's new Super Cruise, which is their autonomous, semi-autonomous driving system. It's a level two semi-autonomous level system. Two. So it's a hands-free driving experience. Okay. The first in the industry to be hands-free. So, so you mentioned hands-free. The one, the one overriding factor of most, most of those is you get about 15 seconds and it tells you to put your hands back on the steering wheel. Yeah. So is, is, is Super Cruise different? It is different. So we've invented what we call the driver attention system, mm -hmm. which is actually an infrared camera that tracks the head movement. So we don't ever ask you to put your hands back onto the steering wheel. What we ask you to do is to look back at the road periodically. Right. And then if we're, if we're in full escalation, if the red light's flashing, then you need to take control of the vehicle. But we won't ask you just to check in with the steering wheel or move the steering wheel or touch the right. steering wheel. Because a lot of those, I guess, they just use torque sensors to make right, sure. Right, exactly. So we don't, we have torque sensors, we have capacitive touch sensors <laughs> in the wheel, but in order to keep the system functioning, all you need to do is glance at the road. I've spoken to some people who are doing, working on gaze tracking systems as well. I don't know whether those are ready for prime time yet. So I was yeah. curious if that was, kind of if that was the route you, you guys were going yeah, to. Yeah, so, so we use different points of the face. We'll <laughs> use the eyes. We use different uh, features of the face to track whether the head's looking on road or off road. And so if you're looking off road, say you're completing a task, you've got hands-free ability, now you're exploring your navigation system, we'll allow you uh, time to accomplish that task. And that time, look away time, is based on speed and curvature of the road. In the olden days, it was you had to be able to complete a task within two seconds so you could look back at the road. Right. Obviously, I assume you have a little bit more time yeah. now in a, in a Super Cruise CT6. Yeah, so d again, okay. depending on, on the speed, one of the things that we've incorporated into the into the Super Cruise on the on the Cadillac CT6 is the first application of a lidar based map. Mm -hmm. So lidar is laser radar. Mm -hmm. We've taken 3D images of 160,000 miles of interstate highways, made those into a computer model, and then generated a map and to put it into the car. And the reason to do that is the map allows us to see further down the road than rather the camera or the radars. That obviously is one of these HD maps that the machines read, which are accurate down to a couple of centimeters, I guess. Right, so it, very, very good. So five centimeters is our, uh, is our target for the map. So we have accuracy with the LiDAR map of up to five centimeters. And then we can position the car within the lane it is in sub two meter accuracy with the GPS. So we know, or we can determine where the car is at. The positioning of the car is actually done by the map the camera and the radar, and then we track that with GPS to make sure that it's in the lane. So is there a LiDAR sensor on this, or is it a separate mapping effort where you have LiDAR mapping vehicles? It's a separate okay. mapping outfit. So we don't actually have LiDAR sensors on the car. Right. We've deployed trucks, and the trucks continue to to circumnavigate mm -hmm. North America, always updating Because you want updated map. maps. I mean, I know right. there's an idea, you know, that cars will start right. updating the maps themselves as they drive around. We're, we're not there yet, right? Right, exactly, yeah. So what we do is we have the trucks always updating the map and then we'll over the air update the map into your car uh, and on an annual basis. Right, so then the sensors on the car are optical and, and radar and ultrasonic? Right, so we have four cameras on the car. We have a front camera that, that used for uh, collision and braking, adaptive speed control, those types of things. We have two side cameras under each of the mirrors and then we have a rear camera in the back we use those to help determine what, where we are positioned in the lane. Mm -hmm. We have ultrasonic sensors in the front, which are essentially short range radars. And then we have a long range radar behind the Cadillac emblem. And that's, that's for the adaptive cruise control? It that's is. That's the one that yeah. ranges you yeah, off the so, cars. Yeah, exactly. So we use it for fore after longitudinal control of the vehicle. So we can accelerate, decelerate, stop and go traffic. All of that can be done with the camera and the radar. And those two sensors have to agree hey, there's a car in front of me and it's this far. And is the, the technology that you're deploying here and the experience, I guess, that you'll get with customers using it, is that going to feed into some of GM's future, like level three, level four, level five stuff? Yeah, so in the autonomous space right now, you hear a lot about LiDAR. Mm -hmm. This is the first commercial application of anything LiDAR, right? We, uh, we've mapped the roads, we've learned how to do that, we understand what, what, we, what LiDAR is good at, what it's not good at, and we're, we're continuing to roll those into advanced technologies. So how do you let the driver know, hey, it's time to, like, you need to actually start driving again? Yeah, we found the best way to do that is, is through a light bar in the steering wheel. Mm -hmm. So we also have cluster graphics that we use, um, and, and the, but the light bar in the steering wheel is the most effective way to do that. And the way that we do that is, is a solid green, mm -hmm. means that Super Cruise is driving the car, you can remove your hands from the wheel. A flashing red means that you need to take control of the vehicle. 
And then we have an intermediate state, which is a pulsing blue. And that means that you've taken control of the car, but Super Cruise is still operating in the background. If you want to use it, it's available. And, and the reason we, we pulse the red and the blue at different frequencies. So if you're colorblind, you can still tell what state the car's in. So That's you would cool. have a solid, you would have a slow pulsing blue, and you would have a fast pulsing red. Gotcha. Presumably, there are, you're only really supposed to use Super Cruise on some kinds of roads, right? right you wouldn't right. you wouldn't set Super Cruise and just have it drive everywhere in town, right? Yeah. So we found through our customer base that they drive twice as many miles on highways, mm -hmm. interstate highways, as they do in urban areas, and we found that this would be most beneficial to them in those areas. Right. So we've actually geofenced it out of other oh, areas. Okay. So right. So, so, so you, you are you can only use it on divided highways. That's right. So you won't even get the icon saying that it's available. You'll just be normally driving the car. You'll, you'll get onto a limited divided highway, limited access divided highway, and really that's a controlled environment. It's a safer environment. You don't have you don't have uh, perpendicular crossings, you don't have bicyclists, you don't have pedestrians, right. so it's a safer environment to operate the car in. Later this year? Yeah, yeah. It already, it's on sale now? In the fall, fall no, the so fall. in the 2018 Cadillac CT6, Super Cruise will be available in the fall. Excellent, I can't wait for it to hit the press. Yeah, we're excited.